Hey, Michael Kerr here. Welcome to my channel, Inspiring Workplaces, where we talk all things workplace culture. Why? Because life is way too short to work in a fun-sucking, soul-sucking, Dilbert-like workplace. Work has a huge impact on our lives that goes just beyond a paycheck. Let's face it, work affects our personal lives, our marriages, our kids' lives. It affects our mental and physical health. It gives us a sense of purpose. It affects our identity, our personal growth, our education, who we socialize with. It affects our friendships, our relationships. It affects our time. You may have noticed work is just a wee bit of a time sucker. It is the single biggest use, in fact, of our waking hours in this short thing called life. And let's face it, none of us are going to be sitting on the rocking chair at 107 years old, thinking back onto our work lives, thinking to ourselves, man, if I could do it all over again, I would work in a more soul-sucking, fun-sucking workplace. I myself would be more of a fun sucker. Nobody is going to think that. So I think we owe it to our families. We owe it to our customers, to our colleagues, our employees, our bosses, our partners, our suppliers, our vendors. We owe it to our souls to create a more rocking, energizing, inspiring workplace because this thing called work matters. The second reason to talk about all things workplace culture is because we know great cultures don't just happen by accident. You can't fake it. You can't go buy your culture at Ikea or Costco. Even if you bought it at Ikea, nobody would understand the instructions. So you have to be intentional about building a rocking great workplace culture. And the third reason to talk about this is because while we know workplace culture is the number one driver of success, it is your number one competitive advantage. I've interviewed hundreds of leaders around the world. One of the questions I've always asked, what's been more important to your success, your business strategy, or your culture. 98% without missing a beat have said, oh, it's culture. Culture is everything. You can have the most rocking business strategy or idea in the world, but if your culture's down here, chances are that's not going anywhere. Conversely, you could have a mediocre business strategy or a mediocre idea, but if you've got the right team, the right mindset, the right culture in place, you're going to make that idea, you're going to make that strategy soar. Culture drives success. A Harvard business study found that how organizations hire, train, and treat their employees account for anything from 30% to 300% growth over their competitors. It truly is your number one competitive advantage if you invest in your culture. So I'm so excited for all of those reasons and more to be able to share all sorts of great ideas, insights, tips, and a little bit of humor that will help you energize your workplace culture to help you get the results you want, the results you deserve. So please join our growing community, hit the subscribe button, and spread the word. Tell your colleagues your employees, your boss, especially your boss, and your boss's boss, and maybe even your boss's boss's boss. Tell your exes, your neighbors, your pets to join our community. We want to create as many rocking workplaces as possible because we know rocking workplaces ultimately, inspiring workplaces ultimately can, as cheesy as this may sound, create better communities and create a better world. So let's change the world one workplace at a time. So hit the subscribe button and and hey, I'm taking requests. Now, you don't want me to sing. I'm not going to sing for you. But if you have questions related to your workplace culture, send them along. I will answer your question in a video. So let me know what's on your mind. And do check out, I've got seven different playlists here with different workplace culture themes for everybody. So there's one playlist on just general culture building tips, one specifically for culture leaders. There's one on how to motivate and engage employees, one on ways to add more fun and humor into your workplace culture. There's one on how to create a culture that is more creative and innovative and, and that embraces change better. There's one on communication and getting your meetings right because are you tired of soul sucking meetings? There's one on customer service because customer service starts with a great rocking culture. Customer service starts on the inside. So welcome to this community. If there's anything I can do to be of service to you, please do reach out.